Shalom and welcome to our episode of Living Supernaturally today. We have been looking at a very fresh and exciting series about praying scripture. Often we find ourselves in places where we may not have the words to speak or the words to pray. But what other better place than to look into scripture to pray exactly what the Holy Spirit had inspired its authors to write. So today we are going to be looking at the prayer to influence. The Bible records the powerful prayer of a man named Jabez in 1 Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Now, there isn't much said about Jabez in these verses, but all that you would see is a very brief account of him amongst um, a long list of genealogies. Some things that are said about him, it's almost like a mini biography of Jabez. And these are some of the things that's recorded of him, that his mother named him Jabez, his birth was difficult, that he was more honorable than his brothers, and that he called on the God of Israel. Obviously, his life did not have a very good start. His mother named him Jabez, which means pain, or that he will cause pain. We aren't told of anything special that he did, but there is uh, that one sentence prayer that he prayed. And we can see how his life had an extraordinary ending. And God granted him everything that he requested. So Jabez isn't there because of anything he did, but because of what, the way the Lord responded and answered his prayer. Now what's so special about this prayer? And I think that this prayer has four parts. First, Jabez asks God to bless him. He asks the Lord to bless him. He boldly calls on the God of Israel and asks to be blessed. Secondly, he asks God to enlarge his territory or his responsibility. And what could your territory be? Your territory could be your course, your borders, the places that you have influence in. So influencing people for the Lord is one of the most important things you can do in your life. The prayer of Jabez just does not pin down to property, but also into influence. The third thing he prays for is that God will be with him and stay close. He prays that the Lord's hand would be over him, that he would bless and expand all that he had. And usually when that happens, the enemy is soon crouching around. It's, his, it's the enemy's territory that we are uh, taking over and that's what Jabez prays for, for influence. So when you pray, for his hand to be with you, you're also praying for his presence and power. And lastly, Jabez asks that God will keep him from harm so that he will be free from pain. He prays that God would keep him from evil. And he asks to keep him from evil. He was acknowledging how much God was there and how much he needed the Lord's protection. So let's challenge ourselves to pray this prayer of influence and to begin praying it every day with a sincere heart because we ask God to influence our territories for Him. So press on as we pray. So we will pray this prayer together. If you're on the video, you will have the verse up on the screen. If not, you could open your Bibles as I pray along. Let's pray. O Lord, we call on your name that you would bless us indeed and enlarge our territory and your hand would be with us and you would keep us from evil that we may not cause pain. Thank you for granting our request. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.